Hey, this is Rick from Outdoor Emergencies at HikingEmergencyBeacon.com. And today I want to tell you about the GPS Map 67i battery test that I've done. It's the first of three. But before I get into all that, please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos. So let's get into this test. The first one I started off with, and I set it up on the the satellite system where it has the multi GNS mode. It gives you better accuracy, but it does run the battery down a little bit more as I've heard from talking with Garmin. This is how I typically use my satellite communicators. I turn them on in the morning when I wake up or I'm getting ready to hit the trail or go fishing or whatever it might be. And I put it on my pack and I have it on all day long. Then at night when I'm finishing up for the day and I'm back in my tent, Unless I need to message my wife or my family, other family members, I'll turn it off. So I have it on all day long. I turn it off at night. That's the way I run it. So when Garmin says that this GPS map 67i, the battery will last about 165 hours and it's using the inReach technology, but it's on all the default settings. And I think the screen goes dark after 15 seconds. Using that, you should get about 165 hours. Now this test I have done is not scientific. Do not take this as a, a real regulated test. It's not. Because what I do and I have done this week is I've been out testing every day. I have created so many field tests and videos that it is gonna run down faster because I'm using it a lot. I, I use my devices more than most of you do because I'm constantly out testing. Unless you're out on a long adventure and you're using it actively day by day, then, you're, you, then again, in that case, you would probably use it a little bit more than me. I started this test on April 22nd. It was a Wednesday at 10 a.m. in the morning. I had a full charge, and then I just used it, as I said. At night, it was off during the day. I'm out there field testing it, and I'm even at home. I'm doing some things, changing things, checking things, and then it's gonna run that battery down a little bit more. So it today, on the 27th, at about 9 a.m., it had gone to 20% and then 19%, and it's in the red. And anytime I get to that point, to me, the battery's dead. I always want to have at least 20% remaining, so if there is an emergency, I can call SOS. I still have a battery life left to message family and friends and to message IERCC or the search and rescue teams. So that's what happened today. I'll have the numbers up on the screen here about how many hours that went. Now, it's not even near the 165 hours that Garmin said it would have, but that doesn't matter because the 66i, when I used it, in one day on a trail, I had gone from 100% down to a 25% and it wasn't even three or four o'clock. And as I was driving around the mountain because my son was in trouble and we were just debating whether to call search and rescue for him, and we were talking back and forth with the two-way messaging, I had charged it up some more. But by the end of the day, I was still 50% or less, and that was after charging it for about an hour as I drove around the mountain to the other side here in Colorado on the Segment 1 Trail. So the bottom line is, based upon what the 66i did on the battery, Garmin says that the 66i should be about 35 hours. That's probably about right, but I'm telling you, in one day I was dropping down so low that it made me really uncomfortable. But the 67i, I used it more than I did on that day, and I've gone five days. So the 66i only lasted me about one day. I wouldn't even count it going into one and a half days. This battery test using the GNS mode lasted almost seven days. I would say it would last seven days if I went down to zero, but I don't ever like to go to zero. So when I hit 20%, the battery's dead to me. So technically, if I would say, okay, it lasted six days. So that right there tells me what Garmin is saying about the battery on the 67i is absolutely true. Now I'm going to do another test and it's going to be with the GNS mode, I would say it's called the multi-GNS mode, I'm going to do the same test, but this is going to be a little bit different. This week, I'm not going out in the field hardly at all. I've got work to do. I've got my day job, and I'm going to have it on day and night, 24-7, and we're going to see how long it takes to run down. Then the third test is going to be 
in the GPS mode, not multi-GNSS. It will be in the GPS mode. And this is where I want to test it again. I'll leave it on 24 seven. I want to see what the battery is like when you have it on the multi-GNSS mode versus GPS. Those tests are coming up, but I wanted to show you this test today before I have to wait another week and then another week to finish those because this battery does last a week and it will last longer depending on your settings. Well, please leave comments below. This is important. The, the battery life is so important on these devices. That's why I was a little bit irritated with the Garmin GPS Map 66i was the battery life. Love the battery life on the 67i. It still doesn't compare to the Mini 2, but that's okay. The Mini 2 is incredible on its battery life. So again, if you have any questions, comments, tips, anything, whether how to extend the battery life, or if you have any questions about exactly more information about how I ran these tests, leave a comment below. And please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos. And I'll see you back here again on another video.